The federal judge whose son was killed and whose husband was shot at their New Jersey home has released a powerful, emotional statement about the violence against her family. Judge Esther Salas posted a nine-minute video on YouTube sharing her pain and calling for change. And in her own words tonight, you can hear the heartbreak and determination for protection for other judges. The weekend was a glorious one. It was filled with love and laughter and smiles. Daniel and I went downstairs to the basement and we were chatting as we always do. And Daniel said, Mom, let's keep talking. I love talking to you, Mom. And it was at that exact moment that the doorbell rang. And Daniel looked at me and said, who is that? And before I could say a word, he sprinted upstairs. Within seconds, I heard the sound of bullets and someone screaming, no. I later learned that uh, this monster who had a FedEx package in his hand opened fire. But Daniel, being Daniel, protected his father. And he took the shooter's first bullet directly to the chest. While my husband is still in the hospital, recovering from his multiple surgeries, we are living every parent's worst nightmare, making preparations to bury, bury our only child, Daniel. My family has experienced a pain that no one should ever have to endure. Now, more than ever, we need to identify a solution that keeps the lives of federal judges private. I know this is a complicated issue, and I don't pretend to know or have all the answers. But together, together we can find a way. Let me be clear and tell you firsthand, this is a matter of life and death. Alice is a U.S. District Court judge. She said that her son Daniel had just celebrated his 20th birthday at their home with friends from Catholic University where he was a rising junior. The U.S. Marshals Service protects more than 2,700 judges and reports that threats to judges have grown significantly in America in the last five years.